Hey, what's happening guys? Today, we're gonna take a look at this guy. This is the Q12 USB audio interface. This one says Taeyun, some of them say Xtuga, but they're exactly the same. This thing is super compact. Take a look here. Their sizes. It's super light, it's made of plastic. But here's the kicker, man. Audio interfaces, a decent audio interface, it's generally around 200 bucks. The cheapest one you can find is probably around $60. This is 30. And it's got some features the cheap ones don't have. Hop over to the computer with me for a minute and we'll go take a look. If you're not in the music game, you may not have ever heard of Sweetwater, but they are probably the largest uh, online and in-person musical instrument distributor in the United States. They're located in Indiana, and I use them because I'm in Ohio, which is right next door, so basically I get free overnight shipping. But like I said, they're just about the largest musical instrument you know, distributor in the United States. So if we come down here to their USB audio interfaces page, and we start here, these don't do anything. They just have RCA inputs. It's nothing, nothing, nothing. We don't really get to the first one here until we get to this one for $49, the M-Audio M-Track Solo USB interface. It has one combo input, one instrument input. Preamp, fan and power, bus power, blah, blah, blah. There's another one, two-channel. And it has a preamp, 69. These are all very low end, which is fine. That's what I use. What most people end up going with is something from uh, the Focusrite group, like the Scarlets. Let's see if we can find one here. Should be close. Yeah. This is probably the most popular one right here, the Focusrite Scarlet 2i2. So basically, for $180, you can get what we have here for $30. It just lacks a mic preamp, but it does have gain. So you're not really missing anything. I think that's pretty cool. So here's the one I bought, the uh, Q12. Now mine says Taeyun, this says Xtuga, they're the same. But if you take a look here, you can see we have two combo jacks, which is awesome. We have impedance switching for guitars. We have 48 volts fan and power. And we see where it says record mic, mic plus P, that's loopback. So you can get your computer audio into your monitors. And we have um, stereo or mono for the channel. So, I mean, for $29, this is incredible. So now you have an idea why I think this is such a great deal. Here's the manual that comes with it. It's not very big, but it gives you the information we need. It tells you about all of our controls. We have our two combo jacks and could either accept an XLR or a quarter inch jack. We have our main outputs. These are TRS types. And they are controlled via the main right here. We have a headphone out which is controlled right here. We have a condenser mic jack for our little uh, or those 3.5 millimeter jacks and we also have the 48 volt phantom power for the condenser and yes you can use three microphones at one time here very cool this is a lower um, bit rate I guess you call it 16 bit 48 kilohertz this is not going to be what you need for high quality music recording 
but for vocal stuff like this, um, recording just voice and whatnot, this is incredible. And also, you want to take this on the road with you, you know, you plug it into a USB power pack, you've got a little three channel mixer for $30. You'll notice it also has uh, signal and peak lights. We'll actually you set your indicator levels. We have the stereo and mono switch. Uh, it required no drivers for Windows 10. On my system, I'm not sure what will happen on a Mac or a Linux system. Like I said, this weighs nothing. We're not going to tear it open because I intend to use this. There ain't not going to be anything but basically a PC board in there and some sort of preamp. But what I thought we could do is give it a try. So let's go over to the computer and we'll hook it up. All right, getting this thing connected is really simple. You need a USB type A to type B. This is a type B, also known as a printer cable. Plug her in. Powered up. For our microphone today, we will be using this PV PVI 100 nice carotid dynamic microphone. Plug it into our XLR cable, and the XLR cable goes into number one. Now, all we need to do is set our level. So power on the microphone, one, two, one, 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 test, one, test, 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 one, two, test, one, two. All right, so now we have a level set. We're going to go over to the computer. We're going to bring up Audacity and the audio that you hear from this point on, at least in this section, will be from this setup going into the computer. Of course, in one sense, the first essential for a man's being a good citizen is his possession of the home virtues, of which we think when we call a man by the emphatic adjective manly. No man can be a good citizen who is not a good husband and a good father, who is not honest in his dealings with other men and women, faithful to his friends, and fearless in the presence of his foes, who has not got a sound heart, a sound mind, a sound body, exactly as no amount of attention to civil duties will save a nation if the domestic life is undermined, or there is lack of the rude military values alone which can assure a country's position in the world. All right, we're back to camera audio. Of course, I'm going to have to work on uh, my recording skills and my EQ skills. That sounded a little muffled to me, and I'm sure that's just an EQ setting. So I'm really happy with this thing. And for the price of $29, like, it's a must-have. So if there is uh, anything that you need to record on your computer and you're looking for a way to do it with more high-end microphones, you know, well, for 29 bucks, can you really go wrong? I don't think you can. So anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you can, join my patron for a dollar a month. Starting uh, next month, we are back to the patron Zoom meetings. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and if you can, share the videos. It really helps out the channel, and I appreciate it. All right, guys, that's it. I'm out. Peace.